Hey, welcome to day two of proofs. We're doing geometric proofs today, which is basically the same thing as algebraic proofs, except uh, we have to start like a couple steps earlier to set up the problem. That's it. So I am not going to do any new notes because it really does match. Well, I'm going to do new notes, but they're basically going to be examples because they basically match algebra proofs from last time to see. But I do want to point out that I'm giving you some new cards. So one of those proof cards is here in lines. You get the segment addition postulate, um, which basically says that this section plus this section is the whole thing. Easy. Um, I also give you, oops, um, angles. So I give you the angle addition postulate, which is that this angle plus this angle is the whole. And I give you the vertical angle theorem, which is that two vertical angles are congruent, they're the same. So one is equal to three and two is equal to four. I don't give you anything for triangles yet, and I'm not going to bombard you with angles because we're going to get to more later. Um, but we're going to get, uh, oh, incongruence. By the way, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive are equality and congruence properties. So they're exactly the same thing. I just popped a congruence symbol in the middle. No big deal. Um, I don't want you to get too hung up on that. So I'm going to do an example uh, of a geometry proof. And then I'm going to set you free to do them on Desmos. If you want more examples, please tell me. I will do these examples till the cows come home. I got your back. All right, so here's our problem. Pause me and write this down. <laughs> Don't get started without having it written down. But we're going to do this all together, I promise you. Okay, you got it written down. Great. Here's, um, we're going to do the same kind of proof as two-column proof. By the way, in your um, textbook, Sorry. In your textbook, um, section 2.6 introduces the idea of paragraph and flowchart proofs. We're not going to be doing those unless I really decide that your book needs you to. I taught this in the past with a book that didn't care about paragraph and flowchart proofs. Um, they are valid ways of representing a proof. They're totally valid. You should be able to read one, but I'm not going to make you create one. Okay. Um, they do the flowchart proofs do help for showing your reasoning on like what steps go which way go which way because they kind of like it's like these ones and these ones and they converge and blah 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 um, but they're not really necessary right now I don't know how long this is gonna be so we're just gonna go till there okay we always start with what's given so here's our given statement W uh, sorry Q W T and T W X are complementary that was given to us. Um, this is why some people will number them because this is a little bit longer. And so I just want to show that these are the same. I did it so it's indented a little bit, but you could also go one here and one here. That's totally fine. Don't look at my nail polish. It's really bad. I just noticed. Okay. So that's true. What follows logically from that statement is that that means that they add up to 90 degrees because that's the definition of complementary, right? But also um, there's more information that we're given in here that has to do with being um, the, from the picture that we can also write. So you have two options right now and they're both correct. You can either list out all of the given things. So this is given. Also, this is given that it's equal to 2x and this is given that it's equal to x plus 6. Or you can do, you can follow this train of thought that complementary means adds up to 90 and then add in the new information as you need it. It's your call. I'm going to do all of the given statements first. So the other given statements are that um, the measure of angle QWT equals 2x. Definitely it's 2x degrees, but it's okay. Um, and that the measure of angle TWX equals x plus 6. Those are both given statements. And they're not given by written being here, but they're given by being shown in the picture. So that counts as being given the same thing. You're all good. Okay. I need way more room than this. <laughs> We're going to keep on keeping on, on this thing. All right. So next, um, I'm going to, I need to set up some sort of equation. And we know by solving these so much, hopefully we know that 2x plus x plus 6 equals 90. We know that that's the case, but it doesn't say 90 anywhere in this statement. So we need to say that it equals 90. How do we do that? Well, we know that um, the measure of angle QWT plus 
the measure of angle TWX equals 90 degrees. How do we know that? We know that because they're complementary. So what we're going to say is we're going to say that's the definition of complementary. And then we just do a little angle symbol. There are some symbols that are widely recognized inside of proofs. Angles is one of them. Def, if I shorten this, def is one of them. Complementary, there's no shortening complementary. I'm so sorry to tell you. We have to write out the whole thing. So you can't say def of com angles. Nobody would understand it, but you can say def, def of complementary angles with the angle symbol. That's fine. Okay, so next we're going to plug in what we know. So by the way, as I said before, I could have said that this could go here. Like I could have had this line right here be in between these two. Perfectly fine. You can't mix around a lot of things, but you can, like you have to follow it logically step by step. But these two, or these two and this one could be flipped around. It's fine. Okay, so QWT is 2X. So I can write 2X here. And TWX is X plus 6. And that equals 90. What did I just do? I substituted. So we say this is substitution. Okay. And now, like I said before, a lot of this is just from last lesson. From here on out, you already know this stuff. From here down, you know how to solve for X. So I'm going to do that step by step just in case last time you got confused or something. But you could technically just end the video here, write it down, maybe check at the end to make sure you're right, but it would work. Okay, so I'm going to collect like terms. So I get 3x plus 6 equals 90. And I collected like terms that we call that. Do you remember what we call that? <laughs> we call that simplify. And then just as a reminder, you can go back and look at these cards. Definition isn't in angles, it's in other. Um, so midpoint, bisector, congruent, those are common ones. Complementary is one of them. Supplementary is one of them. I hate this list because I wish I could give you all of the freaking things that we could say it was a definition, but I really can't. I can't use them all. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, so simplify, and then I'm going to subtract the 6. So I have 3x equals 84. That was subtraction. It's not just subtraction. It's the subtraction property of equality. Again, that's a commonly recognized um, short version. And then I'm going to divide by 3, which is, it should be 28, so I'm just going to assume it's 28. <laughs> that was division property of equality. And then I'm done. We did it. Um, again, if you want more examples, I will, I will pop out sheets and sheets of these. Um, I didn't want to overwhelm you. So I gave you this one. Your challenge problem, if you choose to accept it, is that I give you all of the justifications and you're going to try to follow the reasoning and the statements. Or your not challenge is two problems, but you know the statements, you just have to fill in the justifications. One of them is a lot harder than the other. But that's why I'm giving you one problem for the challenge versus two for the other one. Um, email me, text me, not text me, you don't know my number. Uh, email me or tell me in class if you need more examples. I will do them. We're going to do more of these um, specifically with angle addition postulate. No, specifically with, um, I don't know. We'll do it with other ones. Ah, no, it's fine. I did it right. Okay, check it out um, on the Desmos and then email me if you need any more examples. We'll do them. I promise.